Okay, we shall uh, complete the summary and I shall give you some more uh, useful information uh, that shall be that can be used and uh, you can refer to the original source of references which I was mentioning from time to time and uh, I strongly also suggest you may go through a companion textbook or a companion web course or to have more details and uh, we were lastly dealing with the uh, overhangs and wing walls and introduce the concept of the shading plane which joins the edge of the overhang to the base of the window of area A S H P A W is the window area, P is the projection, the sun's ray will make Y. These relations have been given and uh, incidentally a wing wall is something like this which we have of course dealt in detail in the lectures. I will show only one. If you see some of the buildings there will be a vertical or it looks like it is oh, this is the wing wall and depending upon if the sun is on this side like if this is south this may be west. This will cast a shadow here. So, if you have a overhang and two wing walls and bottom is not necessary, but usually that makes it a box type window, there will be pretty good coverage and if uh, I have not yet exactly made the calculations, but I suspect that if you have got wing walls associated with the overhang, you may treat the overhang as if it is infinitely long because it is either shaded by this or this. So, that is a different issue and now similar concept can be extended you join one edge of the wing wall to the a base of the window on the other side and that become uh, let me sh show only one of them so that it will be clear. So, this is your window and this is your wing wall. So, from here so this will be your shading plane okay, the one that joins the edge of the wing wall to the base on the other side of the wall. So, this is the shading plane for the wing wall. Now, you do exactly the same way we have done and calculate the solar radiation falling on the shading plane as formed the way I have described, you will get the radiation received uh, by the window per unit area of the window introducing F i for the shading plane. Now, of course, this also has got limitations in the sense this is pretty long, so that the shape of this is always a rectangle. Okay? So, that formally uh, finishes the topics that we covered. But you may be little curious for certain additional things like uh, solar furnaces and of course, central tower power generating systems. And air conditioning and refrigeration. Cold storages So, these I have not included because each design is specific and uh, depending upon the location and application and uh, it is difficult to put it in the form of uh, uh, say Q u is equal to A c f r tau alpha type of formula. And if you have got solar furnaces 
it's a essentially a typically a parabidal dish high concentration ratio and is useful for metallurgical research because there will be no contamination and also since they are small quantities you can afford to have a furnace central tower power generating systems are uh, are on demonstration and have been successfully integrated with the grid and air conditioning and refrigeration has not met so far perhaps that much success one is if you go through the absorption route the equipment is bulky essentially i mean low temperature so something like a maybe a flat plate collector at 90 degrees c supplies energy at about 90 degrees c so consequently your cop will be pretty poor and if you go for compression system essentially it is it is a power electrical or mechanical generating system so if you have electrical power you can combine with any compression system refrigerator and operated power generating system okay however Uh, there are n number of uh, i don't know i'm not an expert metal hydrides hydrogen halides etc being used and uh, with the absorption principle and they may meet with some success but essentially this cold storage also and uh, small scale refrigerators or useful for remote villages particularly for medicine storage etc so this is in vogue so these are some of the uh, things which you may find uh, from time to time uh, the best thing is to go through uh, journals or even the web which have many pictures and the other thing i mentioned was cold storage now one of the things that uh, uh, people will ask uh, regarding solar energy technology apart from the lot of progress that has been made in the demonstration as well as commercial systems that are installed the our understanding has improved and many rules of thumb can be avoided now can be calculated with uh, reasonable accurate formula this is particularly evidence in the architecture 
or the sun path diagrams or the sun's position, shadow length, everything can be estimated now. Or similarly, even if you consider a cold storage, you can choose a good orientation and A by B by C or land area by the height ratio of a cold storage such that it receives the minimum solar radiation because subject to certain constraints like a certain height and uh, you can choose uh, play with A, B and uh, what direction it shows it sees rather facing south, north, east or something else and this may help in uh, reducing the heat load on the structure similarly on any other building. So, you, if you want any clarification sometimes because these are all handwritten and of course, every frame will be there in your video you can go back and see, but still uh, nobody can guarantee that it is completely error free. There may be some mistakes plus minus etcetera etcetera and one star may be missing or one star may be extra. But if you want any clarifications, you can contact me at vvsmurthy at mac dot iit kjp dot n dot in. And uh, the other thing is number of problems we have solved which I will show here, so that they are all at one place. But the solutions you have to pick up from the corresponding lecture and the number of the lecture also I have indicated along with the problem. So, that it will be convenient for you to go back to that chapter or lecture number and see the steps. And uh, there are additional problems also I have given and these are deliberately given and rather I did not give the solutions to this and uh, if anybody is interested in the correctness, uh, he should do a little bit of exercise, uh, do homework, uh, send me to the email your answer or the solution or both then I can help you solve it and uh, you put in your effort and I shall give you the correct answer if I am uh, that is it. So, first uh, from the diameter of the effective sun etcetera we have made calculation uh, different angles of incidence these are all under exercise 1. Then direct radiation sunset hour angles shows essentially the difference between the days and how latitude affects these things and similarly the day lengths are calculated here. So, there are uh, up to 1.12 I think I have solved and uh, 1.13 to 1.17, 18, 19 these are the additional problems uh, you can solve it and but then let me also tell you the methods to solve these problems are available when we solved f chart and few bar f chart problems. So, exercise 2 I just put it in the form of exercise 2 only because uh, in this form of uh, delivery uh, exactly you have to match the time sometimes it may be little less sometimes it will be little more. So, they were all called exercise only and this is the few bar f chart method and then number of extensions to the same problem and I have given you the poor India environmental portal uh, where you can get uh, data. In fact, that is true for so including ambient hour temperature and uh, another problem with the f chart method and uh, this is an interesting thing I did not do it earlier uh, that if you compare the liquid based system f chart and fibar f chart method and they give pretty comparable results. And I have put all the websites I have gone through which was a revelation uh, here. Those of you who are interested just click it and see and uh, then horsepower maps of India and uh, this is the dealing deals with the solar pricing that is where from I have taken the data for economic analysis. And here I have put all the references uh, starting with the classical book by Duffy and Beckman, Solar Engineering of Thermal Processes and some of the thesis that uh, uh, have been submitted to IIT Kharagpur and uh, key references like Argel and Holland, Scholar Esperer, Robel, Winston 
and which have been Leo and Jordan, which have been referred uh, time and again throughout our lectures. And then these are the later studies uh, done at Energy Lab IIT Kharagpur, uh, which will throw some light uh, how the class, for example, utilizability calculation, double sunshine and solar radiation under terrestrial, extraterrestrial conditions and some ambient temperature predictions. This is the data book by uh, Mani and Rangarajan, aerological data. Then this you can, uh, now I believe it is TMY3. You can have the data uh, downloadable for about 240 US locations of 27 meteorological variables. You can have the data and uh, take comparable latitudes of an Indian location, say for example, Mumbai or even Srinagar, Delhi and uh, that goes as low as I think 25, 24 degrees even the North American or even lower. So, you have corresponding locations and check how the solar radiation compares in the Indian subcontinent and the US. And this is a book law of the uh, we add this uh, law of use to do the solar house 1 and solar house 2 actual uh, system scale experiments. Handbook of applied meteorology you can see introduction to climate this is a general uh, knowledge uh, generally good knowledge book and you may see that uh, uh, Kerala for example in India, Assam and uh, Rajasthan how climatically they are different and how they are classified and according to that you can have an idea of uh, what type of solar radiation one can expect. Again these are the studies done here uh, and this is one of the papers uh, where economic viability has been studied uh, along with uh, Professor Beckman and this is again uh, you will find that uh, clay in brand new and Beckman which we have referred number of times and McAdams is a classical heat transmission book which you can see number of relations whether or not we have dealt directly in here or not you can find them particularly it will be useful for calculating the flat plate collector uh, loss coefficients. So, this is a just Blasius equation uh, that gives you the frictional pressure drop and these are all the additional solar collector geometries, again rubble, rubble, transis, sole cost, another simulation program, a computer in the design of solar energy systems by Klein, Mitchell, Duffy and Beckman and uh, sets of data how to reduce uh, and use a simpler data set rather than a voluminous data, those advantages also have been found out or how you can do that. So, this is the typical list which I have used or uh, they might not have been exactly numbered in the lectures or in the my handwriting or uh, some of them I might have orally told, but nevertheless uh, you can just uh, go through these things in the appropriate from the title you can find out where they do become relevant for the topics that we have covered. So, that is it. I enjoyed giving you these lectures and I shall look forward to your queries and I shall answer uh, through email and uh, consequently do not hesitate. Uh, I shall not do your homework or the assignments, but uh, related to the subject you can send a problem and uh, I do not promise you will have the answer in 24 hours, but you may have the answer within a week. Thank you very much.